Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a skin shader from scratch using Blender 4.2. However, you can use it in other versions as well, so stick around until the end. I have a scene with a model and lighting. You can download the model from the link in the description. There's a link in the description. First, press Z and switch to render mode. There are no textures applied yet. I'll be using EV next, and I'll also test the final result in cycles. Ray tracing and other settings are enabled. To learn how to achieve realistic results in EV next, watch the tutorial here. The scene is lit with multiple lights, one above the model, one at the back for rim lighting. Now let's scale up the shading window. I've already opened the shader editor. You can open the shader editor from this section. I'm using a principal BSDF shader here, but there are no textures applied yet. This is the diffuse texture, the first style. For this project, I'm using Udem to manage multiple texture types. Udem is great for achieving highly detailed textures. To learn more about it, check out the full tutorial here. As you can see, there are multiple high detail tiles. Now let's examine the normal map. Now drag the first style of the diffuse texture into the project. Make sure it's RGB selected. Also change the image type from single image to UDEM. This will automatically load the other texture tiles. Next connect it to the base color input. As you can see the level of detail is good. The next texture is the specular map. In this map, black areas indicate regions with almost no reflection. Now let's add a specular texture to the shader. For the specular texture, make sure to set the color space to non-color and also switch it to UDEM. Open the specular section and connect the color output to the IOR input. Currently, certain areas like the nose have no reflection. Let's compare the nose area with and widow the specular map applied. Next, let's examine the roughness texture. The texture shows the nose is rough, while areas like the lips appear nearly wet. Now, I need to drag in the first style. Set the color space to non-color and make sure to choose the other, just as you did before. Now connect it to the roughness input. You can now observe the differences. Let's examine it more closely. Let's also examine the lips to see the effect. Now the most crucial map to import is the normal map. Set the color space to non-color and make sure to select Yoda. Next add a normal map node. Press Shift A and search for normal map. Connect the texture to the color input, then connect the normal output to the normal input of the shader. Now that's better. Let's examine the face from various angles. Subsurface scattering is the next crucial element, as it's essential for creating a skin shader. It allows light to scatter through the thinner areas of the skin, like the ears and nose. Start by increasing the weight, which adjusts the intensity of the subsurface scattering effect. Then adjust the scale to modify the size of the subsurface scattering effect. See. 
the light is penetrating through the entire surface, which is in the desired effect. Now let's manually adjust the scale. Now let's compare the skin shader with and without subsurface scattering. The next is radius, which determines how far the subsurface scattering effect spreads through the skin. Observe the changes in the effect by comparing it to a value of 1. Sometimes you can use a texture known as a scattering map to control the scale or weight. I've created a scattering map in Substance Painter, similar to the other texture maps. For instance, this area represents the ear. Wider regions correspond to more subsurface. And this is the other tile. I cover more details about this type of texture in the tutorial here. Feel free to watch it later. Let's drag in the first tile of the texture. Set the color space to non-color and make sure to choose Udem. To preview the node, hold Ctrl and Shift then left click on it. In areas such as the ear, you'll notice a wider color. To go back to the main preview, press Shift and Ctrl and then left click on the shader node. You can connect the subsurface texture to either the weight or scale inputs, but I prefer using scale. With the adjustments area like the ears and nose now exhibit more subsurface scattering. We're facing an issue where the scale is too high and we lack control over it. Press shift in A and add a math node. I need to control the texture using multiply. Change it to multiply. Connect the texture to the first input of the math node. You can now modify the second input to control the scale. To use the texture's original value, set the second input of the math node to 1. Ok, our work with subsurface scattering is finished. We'll review it in cycles later. Another issue is that the quality of the normal map decreases when zooming in. This is expected, but you can avoid it by using a micro skin detail texture. This is a simple texture and you can download it along with the face model and other textures. Let's drag it into the project. Set the color space to non-color. There is no need to switch it to Yudo. Press Shift A and look for the mix color node. We'll mix the main normal map with a micro skin detail texture. Finally, connect result to the normal map node. You can adjust the result with a factor. The current outcome is an ideal, but I'll fix it. To add a coordinate node for micro detail texture, press Ctrl T. Next, I need to select the right value for the scale. It's looking good, though I might increase the value later on. How can I adjust the intensity of the detailed texture? I'll need to blend it with another normal map, this time using an empty normal map. For the second input, I could choose a blue color, like an empty normal map, but I prefer to use an actual normal. Here's an empty normal I created, consisting of just one color. Drag the map into the project and remember to set the color space to non-color. I can now adjust the balance between the two normal maps by tweaking the factor value. I believe this value works well. Let's go ahead and increase the scale. 
The detail looks great up close. This technique is highly effective for creating skin shaders in video games and animation. Also, we can control the tone by add some modifications in the base color. Insert a mix color node and change its blend mode to multiply. Select any color you like. For those interested in creating black skin, this can be useful. This will help you achieve a basic black skin. For more professional results, you need to use some Sense Painter. Adjust the factor to find the right balance between the colors. Now there's no need to adjust the main tone. Next I'll use the math node to adjust the roughness. Set the math node operation to multiply. Lower values in the second input will result in a wetter surface. Next, we'll use a clear code feature to create micro wet areas on the surface. This will make the surface appear too wet. Connect the roughness to it and then adjust the weight. We don't want to use a high value. Instead, adjust it carefully to achieve a more realistic result. This is a good value. Displacement can be used to add more detail, but it's not essential for skin. I covered displacement in detail in the tutorial here. Let's switch to the Cycles render engine to see how the shader looks there. You can see that the subsurface looks better. Lighting and shadows are good in both engines. The subsurface appears more refined in Cycles. With some adjustments to the subsurface texture, you can achieve a result like this in Eevee as well. This is the final result. If you have any additional techniques or tips, I'd be happy if you share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your ideas and questions in the comments.